Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. Last time we went over a bunch of logs and, like, read a lot, just because the audio was fucked up for the game, because, well, my Elgato is still fucky, and I don't know if it's fixed all the way. Anyway, last time in the actual game, we called up Meryl, and we asked her about, like, how things were. We've already been in this room. I don't think any of these extra rooms can be opened currently. Anyway, we have to... what, what was it? We have to head up to, like, we need to get out of this building and get to the next building so we can go see Dr. Emmerich. <laughs> Man. Ugh, this is not what I wanted. Hit that again. God damn. Sometimes controls can get really fucky. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting a call. From Meryl. Snake. I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, <laughs> Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. But how do I get Wait, there? You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta <sighs> get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Meryl's being a piece of shit. Anyway, she opened a door. Oh, to my right. Well, at least she opened the door for me. Somebody's calling me again. I guess that's her. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. Oh yeah, you, you just said that. You can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, Shit. you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Well, I do have cigarettes. This is the game where the cigarettes actually, I think, act as those scanning for those lines and stuff. You can also crawl under them, just to make things a little bit easier. Let's see. I think it is kind of zapping my health, like, every now and again. Let's see. Alright, I made it through. You can also use the box just to get through. Then again, it doesn't matter much, since I'm already through. Open the door, dumb shit. We gotta go see Meryl. <sighs> Drinking my passion fruit water, or whatever the fuck. Anyway. Oh shit! Snake. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Thanks for not telling me Mind this. Detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? Oh, God. The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you, anyway? One of your fans. One of your fans, eh? We've had a run-in with a fan beforehand, and that wasn't great. A mind detector? I don't have a mind detector. I don't know how I'd do that. I'm just gonna hope that I walk across it, and that there's no mines, which I don't think there are. Anyway, there's a tank. This is like the first real boss of the game. Actually, no. Hasselot was. I don't know what a raven is. I guess that's you. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. Well, I've been living here for a couple of years. Send him a message. Send who a message? Okay. That's a weird laugh. <laughs> you belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground 
mighty snake you are. What? So you're gonna make fun of me, but not your commander? Okay, great. Anyway, yeah, it's Vulcan Raven, and he's here, and he does not like us. Well, there's a good thing that we have uh, the weapon that kills him. Yeah, for some reason, grenades uh, stop a tank. Oh. I guess there's a ration. Oh, God. <sighs> Alright. Shit. I think we still have to deal with all of the goddamn explosives everywhere. Alright. Shit! He is very angry at me. He's like, I hate you. Oh, I hate you. Let's see. Anybody gonna give me any, like, uh, cool help? Snake, look out for that tank's main gun. It'll pulverize you. There's okay. Some way. Ask Nastasha. She knows everything there is to know about I don't systems. have her codec her number. Is 141 Thank you. Alright, 152. The first time they actually tell you to call her, and they haven't told her to call her, even though she was talked about in the briefing messages. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned. That's me. Colonel. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also what about a tanks? military <laughs> analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. Thanks for giving me your life message, but we need to blow up a tank. Tough lady. <laughs> Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Even though you're just sitting in California. From here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Can you help me out with the problem I'm having, please? That M1 tank is equipped with advanced Vectronics. What's a Vectronic? Once a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse the tracking system. Use your ah. If you can jam Do I still have those? If close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems. Hmm. That's some good help right there. Somebody actually helped me out this time. Alright, we need the shaft grenades, which I have a lot of. Running out, running out, running out! Well, I tried. <laughs> Snake! You're dead. What's wrong? Snake! Snake! <clears throat> God damn it, Snake! Stop dying on me. Anyway, I guess I'm going to call... No, I do not want to call the colonel. I do not want to call the colonel. I need to call Nastasha again so that I can just, like, have her on the Kodak right? Kodak. I need her on the Kodak camera. This is Don't worry, I'm just going to mash through your buttons because we already heard your speech. Anyway, are we going to get the other dude? It's my best friend, Deep Throat. Be careful. Be careful. I can Deep Throat you if you need me to. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know, Snake. I've got a very, very, very long neck. <laughs> Not stun grenades. We need shaft grenades. Shaft and stun are very different things. One stuns humans and one stuns technology. Can I skip this cutscene? Yes, I can. All right. I don't know where the mines are, but I just need to get past it. Where are you, motherfucker? Shit! And I didn't grab that ration either, did I? Grenade, shaft grenade. 
and then I need to switch over to a regular grenade. That's the only way I can blow up this thing. Alright. I also can't find where it is properly. God damn. At least I know where you are. Thanks for showing me. Get him, grenade. The fuck was that? Throw it up there. That works. Do not fire your fucking cannon at me. Get up there. <laughs> nah, that works. Stay away from it. Oh. Who the hell are you? I don't remember you, Jimmy. Jimmy Tightwad. I don't know if I actually hit you there. Shit, run. She is very angry with me. Shit. You can, uh, like, go in here. Yeah, it's a weird area, but you can go in here and hide if you needed to. But it can shoot in here. You're not safe while in here, is what I'm saying, is that you're not safe while in there. Every five seconds. God damn you, motherfuckers. Alright. I need to pick up that ration on the left side. Thanks, Deep Throat. Snake, be Snake, stop being a piece of shit and get out of there. God damn. Fucking hell, I just... <laughs> I don't have a mind detector. I don't know where that is. I know it's in the last two games, but I don't have one. I also don't know where one is. Shut up. I've got it this time. I know what to do. You see, I've learned from my past mistakes. And then I'm gonna switch over to my grenades. Somehow that scrambles the fucking, like, road. Now where the fuck is the tank? It's so far away. You guys can go fuck yourselves. Get the hell back here. That is not a proper throw. How the fuck did I hurt it that bad? Oh. Did I blow up the back of it? Tell you like this. Tell you like this. Even though there's just about to be an explosion right on your ass, dipshit. Gypsy dipshit. Watch out, there is going to be a... Oh, the tank can run you over, I forgot. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna blow myself up. That is a live grenade! That's not gonna hit him. Hide. Shit! Where is our shaft grenades? Damn it! Let's see, I need to do something real quick. Alright, I'm back. I had to take a call real quick. So the shaft grenade is working. Now I just need to throw the fucking bombs at him. Shit. I forgot, he's an asshole and keeps on moving. If I stay close... Throw it up there. Blow him up! Oh shit, I did it. <laughs> With one little slice of health left, I did it. <laughs> You're dead. Also, the tank is dead. Tank... Snake took down a tank with, like, eight grenades for some reason. Snake's just like, I'm so cool. Look, there's a dead body. That's not Vulcan Raven. I got a key. Cool, I'm gonna go. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. You got the card. <coughs> Play with him a little longer. I'm sorry, boss, you got the card. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like I'm the you, demon possessing I him. Expect no less. See? I told you so. I will kill you. So, General Are you sure? Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well. General Ivan? Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language shaman. of the Sioux people, 
Sue means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next... I don't know what he means by General Ivan. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction Battle. Always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Yes, I will fight him one on one with a tank. <laughs> Good idea. Oh. Well, I got my health back. I don't know. I don't think I got any health added. Actually, I think I kind of did. I got a little bit. Not a ton, though. Anyway. Now that we're here. Yeah, rations are good. I would definitely need oh, one soon. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Down the staircase of hell. And crawl. You guys really do not know how to close things, do you? Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. Why? I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What hmm? are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. How do you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, <laughs> but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is one four. I already know her frequency. You told it to me during the battle. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on Well, I floor. can't, apparently. You've locked my weapons away because you're a piece of shit, Naomi. Anyway, what was the number again? 150? 125? God damn. No response. The hell is her frequency? One, I know it was 120 maybe? No response. 150? God damn it. <sighs> I was too fed up and I just wanted to get through. MGS1 Codex. Jeez, man. Yeah, the problem is, for some reason, Safari isn't working for me. Like, it won't load. Everything else loads, and I don't know why. Safari, please. I don't get it. Do I need to restart my phone? Has, like, fucking... Has Apple finally gotten to me and been like, You have not updated in, like, 12 fucking iOS updates. We are now going to stab you until you do it. It's like, God damn it, I don't care. Waste my time. Alright, MGS1 Kodak. Numbers. Because for some reason, they just don't give it to me. Anyway, where is, uh... It's 52. I just messed it up by two numbers. Anyway, I fucked it up again. Yes, yes, yes. I know your name. I know your I know what you do. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Shit, there's a dude coming. Fuck. Well, I'm out of here. Get me out of here. What the fuck? Is there did the door close? Okay, the door fucking closed. So you enter the room with a uh an enemy staring right at you. That's great. Let me call her up right now. Just so that I start out with it. <sighs> There's one big problem with this game. And it's that these fucking codec calls are dumb. I like them. But they're dumb. They're very dumb. Snake. You can't use your weapons here. Your cock might fall off. Alrighty then. Box time. I was meant to be in the box, Colonel. You just don't understand me. Colonel, you never understood. 
You see, huskies and boxes are all my life has ever pertained to. You just don't accept the power of the box people. Alright. And then... The problem is, is like, you stare at the Soliton radar a lot more than you stare at the game. God damn it! Just a box. Just a box. Exactly, I'm just a box, and somehow you walked through that box, so maybe you're the best boxer ever known. Me through. Alright, so no weapons in this area, I need to get the fuck up. Well, I need to get to the elevator. I need to get to Dr. Emmerich. So we're going down and around. Ooh, more ammo? Yes, that is very good. Let's see, where am I? Okay, camera, why won't you just switch around for me? He's up there. I'm down here. Shaft grenades, more nuclear warheads, my favorite. There's the thing I need to be passing by. Alright, I made it up. Is he going to turn around? I knew it. Bad ideas. I'm just going to let him pass by, and then we're going to use the elevator, and we're going to get down to the second floor. Or the second bottom floor. That voice acting, like the rest of the voice acting in the game is pretty damn good, but this, the guy they got to voice the random soldiers, yeah, it's just a box. Made him sound, I don't know, they didn't make him sound right. This is a very long elevator. All right, there we go. There is not a lot of people in here, are there? Oh, hello there. What's he up to? I don't know what he's up to, but we're just going to leave him alone. This is a bunch of random items. I'd like to get in there, but who knows if I can. <laughs> Shit, there's gas. The fuck? Nobody told me about this one. Oh, this reminds me of Metal Gear 1. You know, when you had to blow up the fucking electrical outlet to try and, like, stop the electrified floor? So we need a missile, somehow. <laughs> Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote-controlled missile. Yeah, the worst part is that the audio is still fucked up. What the hell did he just say? I I don't know because like I can I couldn't completely understand what he wanted me to do. All right, let's try and call Colonel up. Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside this operation. I know. We were monitoring the call. Maybelline knows everything about the communication system. The problem is, is that your audio is fucked up. Well, if somebody knows your I'm having to read that you. instead of listening. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were hmm. too weak to locate their source. But I'm sure he's near you. Somewhere on the base. For the time being, let's trust what Deep Throat told us. Use a remote controlled missile to destroy the northwest section of the, the northwest second section floor building. Of the warhead storage building, second floor basement. Make sure your remote controlled missile doesn't get shot down by those gun cameras. Well, I really wish the audio wasn't like this, because now it just makes no goddamn sense. Maybe if we call up Nastasha, she'll tell us about where the Nikita it, missile could be. Like which is just said, what I said. We are facing increasing danger from stored nuclear materials. You see, there are three elements necessary in the manufacture of nuclear weapons. Nuclear materials, nuclear engineers, and manufacturing technology. All three of them can easily be acquired by either legal or illegal means. If you have enough money, that is. 
Yeah, I don't know what's happening here. <sighs> anyway, I can't do anything on this floor. So we're going to go up to the the other floor. Man, this does not look right. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right to have the sound effects not go with what's happening. All right. I've got a card for this place. There's nothing in here, though. Or at least no people. There is one person. I need to be wary about that person. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. He's coming back down this way. I need to be wary of him. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Shit, 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 shit. I'm getting out of here. Hitting that button. Shit, shit, shit. Let me in, let me in, let me in. <laughs> and we made it out of there with not much reprieve. So now I have the Nikita missile. Or the Nikita launcher. That's what you have to use to try and, well, break out the shit. I don't think I can activate it quite yet. I need to be in the room. Alright, press square. Uh, okay, so I need to be all the way in is the problem. So they're just gonna fuck with my oxygen all throughout. Let's see. Northwest is the problem. I have to, like, kind of zigzag it in order to, like... Uh, damn it. It's hard to know when I'm turning because of the whole, like, uh, audio problem. Damn you. My Nikita missile will always make it there. God damn it, I have to thin the needle right there. Literally, okay. You just walk out and you let everything go back down to hell. Okay. Do not walk on that. You're not going to feel good. It's not like in Metal Gear 1 where we can just kind of avoid it. It's not possible. Let's see. And there we go. Doesn't the sound effects not make any sense? Dude, I love not making any sense sound effects. That's normal for me, right? Anyway. Oh, God. The air is still fucking with me, so I'm just gonna walk outside, and we're just gonna, like, kind of let it get all back. Alright. So, one of these doors is gonna let me in somewhere. A FAMAZ. That's pretty good. Another ration. That's important. I know there were, like, extra shit, like, right where we blew up the, uh, communication system. This does not open. Does this open? It does, but there's, well, bad shit in there, so... <sighs> I'm just gonna go this way. Fuck getting the items right now. I need to get out of here before I fucking drown. And move left. Use the card. And we're going in. Alright. Well, I'm going to end it here and now with this weird sound effect going on because I don't know, I can't, the audio is fucking with me. I can't play this game. I can't play any game with the sound effects and audio being completely fucked up. So I'm going to try and see if I can fix this. So I'll see you guys next time.